If there's one question we get more than any other, it's what's the best bidet seat for my elderly parents? So today we're going to talk about what to look for in a bidet seat for seniors, as well as our top recommendations for seniors. My name is Daniel Johnson and I'm your bidet expert. So when picking a bidet seat for senior use, you want to make sure that the remote is easy to use. In most cases, you want to make sure that the bidet has a sitable lid, and you also want to make sure that it can be tried in case it's not liked once it's purchased. We're going to talk about these items and some others in this video today. Our top three recommendations are the Cascade 3000, the Swash 1400, and the BB1000. Now, before we dive in any further, it's important to note that the Cascade 3000 is a seat that we designed specifically due to the fact that we get this question so much. Ease of use is the most important factor when picking out a bidet seat for seniors. Since the remote is the user interface, that's where you're going to want to start. Coming in at third place for ease of use is the Swash 1400. Decently sized buttons, clear, easy to understand words, and a red stop button. As far as ease of use is concerned, the Swash 1400 is in pretty good shape. The BioBidet BB2000 takes ease of use a step further. The buttons are larger, the buttons are somewhat color coded, and the layout on a larger panel makes it a little bit easier to see. In first place, is the Cascade. The largest buttons on the market, the stop is larger than a quarter, color-coded, large, easy to read words. From an ease of use standpoint, between the three, the Cascade comes in first place. The second most important item is the sittable lid. If you're moving around the bathroom and you get tired, it's nice to have a place to sit. The BB1000 comes in third place because it literally doesn't have a sitable lid. Now you can lift the lid up and sit on the seat, but the lid itself, if you sit on it, will likely break. In second place is the Swash 1400. It has a sitable lid, but it's not very stable. And we found that if that lid breaks, Brondell frequently does not cover it under warranty. In first place is the Cascade 3000 by far the most stable sitable lid between the three. And if you run into any issues, we will replace that sitable lid free of charge. To date, we've never had a sitable lid break. When getting a bidet seat for senior use, we often get customers buying a bidet seat for someone else. In this scenario, there's often a bit of stress and anxiety tied to the fact of whether or not the individual will use the bidet seat and or benefit from the bidet seat and want to keep it. Because of this, being able to try the seat and then return it if it's not a good fit is key. In third place is the BB1000. It doesn't come with a risk-free trial at all, but it is the less expensive of the three options. In second place is the Swash 1400. It comes with a 30-day risk-free trial so return it within 30 days for a full refund. The Cascade 3000 has the lowest return rate out of any of the seats that we sell, and we offer a 60-day risk-free trial on that seat, making it number one in this category. When it comes to the risk-free trial, it's worth knowing that your only expense in returning the seat is the return shipping of that product. The placement of the receiver that accepts the signal from the remote is another important thing to take into account. Both the BB1000 and the Swash 1400 tie in second place for this with one receiver. The Cascade 3000 comes in first with two receivers. The reason this is important is in a scenario where you mount the remote to the wall and the remote mounting position is key because of left or right handedness, vision, etc. you need to make sure that in that position, the remote signal can make it to the seat. We've run into scenarios where the signal from the remote has issues 
making it to the seat. So the remote needs to be held in hand, positioned in special places in order for that signal to reach. With the Cascade 3000, that's a non-issue because of the two receivers, giving it first place in this category. Another important thing to take into account is how the operation of the remote works. The Cascade 3000 and the BB1000 handle it one way, where the Swash 1400 handles it in another. In our opinion, the Swash 1400 comes in second place because in order to select your settings, you select your wash, rear or front, and then you select your user preset one or two. This means that in order to run your wash with your desired settings, you have to press two buttons. The Cascade, you press rear and it sets itself to whatever was used last. The same thing holds true for the, for the BB1000. So in our opinion, these two seats come in first with the Swash 1400 coming in second place. However, if you have two individuals in the home and you find that they don't mind pressing two buttons, aren't confused by pressing two buttons, the Swash 1400 might come in first place with the Cascade and the 1000 coming in second place. The next items we have to talk about are a little less senior centric, but are still very important to consider when finding the right seat. The first one is unlimited versus limited warm water. In second place is the BB1000. Uh, this unit offers about 30 seconds worth of warm water before the water starts to go cold, kind of similar to what you would have in a shower when your water heater runs out of warm water. The Swash 1400 and the Cascade 3000 tie for first place, both offering unlimited warm water for as long as you might need it. The next item is sterilization. Again, the BB1000 does not offer nozzle sterilization, whereas the Swash 1400 and the Cascade 3000 both do, making the BB1000 in second place for that category and the Swash 1400 and the Cascade 3000 tying for first. The last item that we're going to talk about is a bit of a tricky one, and that is water pressure. Now, water pressure is a tricky topic because everyone's preferences are different. If we wanted the most powerful pressure on the market for an electric bidet seat, the BB1000 wins hands down. If we want the most gentle water pressure, the Swash 1400 wins. If we want the most range from low to high, the Cascade 3000 wins. So it really depends on what the individual is looking for when buying a bidet seat, which of these options is best in the water pressure department. Generally speaking, if you're not sure what water pressure you're looking for, I recommend sticking with one of the units that has a risk-free trial the 1400 or the Cascade 3000, because if you're unsatisfied with the pressure, you can always swap it out. However, with the BB1000, if you find that the water pressure is too harsh, even at the softest setting, you can't return it. We sell all of these units and we're happy to offer discounts on them. So if you're interested in any of these items, contact us for special pricing. Also, if you have questions or there are things that are concerns of yours that we didn't address, comment on this video, let us know. Commenting on the video allows us to answer those questions quickly and allows it to help others who might have similar questions. You can also visit our website, email, live chat, call or text us. Thank you so much for watching today and have a fantastic day. Minibidays.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.